Hello friends, in today's class, we will be solving numericals on Hall effect. Well, numericals on Hall effect again are very important for your exam perspective. The first question says that mobility of holes is 0.025 meter square per volt second. What would be the resistivity of P type silicon if the Hall coefficient of the sample is 2.25 10 to the power minus 5 meter cube per coulomb. Now, we will be using the same formula as sigma is equal to mu into E into N. Since this is for holes, you can replace this by small suffix H, but if it is not required, you can just keep it as it is. So, I can say that mu is now equal to 1 upon Ne into sigma. I know that 1 upon Ne is nothing but as Rh. Therefore, mu is nothing but as Rh into sigma. Now, let's see the given data. I am given mu h, the mobility of the holes. I am also given the Hall coefficient that is Rh. What I need to find it? I need to find the resistivity of the p-type. Now, with this, I will be getting the conductivity and if I take the reciprocal, I will be getting the resistivity. So, I can say that sigma is nothing but as mu upon Rh. Therefore, rho, which is resistivity, is nothing but as Rh upon mu. Now, just plug in the values, we have 2.25 into 10 to the power minus 5 divided by 0 0.025. The value comes out to be 9 into 10 to the power minus 4 ohm meter. So, this is the value of the resistivity. Now, let's take the next question. A bar of n-type germanium of size 0 0.01 into 0 0.001 into 0 0.001 we can find volume by these dimensions these are the dimensions of the bar is mounted in the magnetic field of 0 0.2 tesla so i am given the magnetic field as 0 0.2 tesla which is nothing but as b the electron density in the bar is 7 into 10 to the power 21 so, this is the electron density. If 1 millivolt is applied across the long ends, the voltage is 1 millivolt, which is 10 to the power minus 3 volts. Applied across the long ends of the bar, determine the current through the bar and the voltage between the Hall electrodes placed between the short dimensions of the bar. Placed between the short dimension means we are talking about the dimensions of this. Either this or this very important short dimensions assume the mobility of electrons to be 0 0.39 so this is my mu now just plugging in the values and finding out the results i know that rho is equals to 1 upon n into mu into e which now becomes equals to 1 upon 0 0.39 into 7 into 10 to the power 21 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. So therefore, my resistivity is now 2.29 into 10 to the power minus 3 ohm meter. I also know that R is nothing but as rho into L by A. So, I can find that R is nothing but as rho which is 2.29 into 10 to the power minus 3 into length 0 0.01 divided by area. The area would be 0 0.001 into 0 0.001. So, this value comes out to be 22.9 ohms. So, this is the resistance offered by the bar. Now, by Ohm's law, we say that V is nothing but as I into R. I know the value of V, I know the value of R, I can find the value of I. 
so therefore i is nothing but as v by r which is nothing but as 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 22.9 so the current comes out to be 43.66 micro ampere now this completes the first part that is to find the current now we need to find the voltage so for voltage we can use this equation vh is nothing but as rh into b into j into d this is the formula that we'll be using to find the hall voltage now i can say that as rh is nothing but as rho into mu and j is also equal as i upon a which is nothing but as i upon w that is width into the distance d i can replace this formula vh as rho into mu into b into 1 upon w into d into d of course this gets cancelled out and the equation becomes as vh is equals to rho into mu into b into i divided by w now we have all the values we just need to plug in the values so vh becomes equal to 2.29 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 0 0.39 into 0 0.2 into 43.66 it is micro ampere therefore it will be 10 to the power minus 6 the whole divided by width that is 0 0.001 on solving you will get the value of vh as 7.798 micro volts so these are the values that we are looking for now this is an important question do remember this was asked for five marks in your exams now moving to the next question so now moving to the next question we have Question 3 which reads, the Hall coefficient of a specimen is 3.66 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter cube per coulomb. Its resistivity is 8.93 into 10 to the power minus 3 ohm meter. You have to find mu that is mobility and the density. So you are given with rho. You are given with the Hall coefficient that is Rh and you need to find mu and rho. So now, to begin with, we'll be using the formula Rh is equals to 1 upon n into E. So therefore, I can say that n is equals to 1 upon Rh into E. Now, plugging in the values, therefore, n is equals to 1 upon 3.66 into 10 to the power minus 4 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. On solving, you'll get the value as 1.7 into 10 to the power 22 per meter cube. Well, this is the question that is asked for two marks. So, one mark for each. You have solved this, which accounts for one mark. Now, you have N and you can use this formula as sigma is equals to N into E into mu. We need to find mu. So, therefore, I can say that 1 upon rho is also equal to n into e into mu therefore mu is equals to 1 upon n into e into rho that is equal to 1 upon 1.7 into 10 to the power 22 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into resistivity that is 8.93 into 10 to the power minus 3 on solving, you'll get the value of mu as 0 0.040 meter square per volt second. Now, moving ahead to the next question. A sample of n-type silicon has donor density 10 raised to 20 per meter cube. This is the donor density. It is used in the Hall effect experiment if the sample width is 4.5 mm. This is the width is kept in the magnetic field of 0 0.55 tesla which is b with current density of 500 ampere per meter square that's j you need to find the hall voltage developed into it that is represented as vh 
hall coefficient that is nothing but as r h and the hall angle if mobility of electron is this so we are given with the mobility of electron that's mu hall angle also we need to find that is theta into h so we have three parameters to find hall voltage the hall coefficient and the hall angle so let's take it step by step we know that v h is nothing but as b j w divided by n d into e we know all the values so just plug in the values and find out the value as 0 0.55 into value of j that is 500 and width it's 4.5 mm so we need to convert this into meter and hence we'll be doing a minus 3 sign here and therefore nd the value is 10 to the power 20 into of course charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 on solving this value comes out to be 0 0.123 volts this finds my vh now the next step is to find rh rh is very easy rh is nothing but as 1 upon n into e here this n is same as nd so it is nd into e which now becomes equals to 1 upon 10 raised to 20 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 the value comes out to be 0 0.062 meter cube per coulomb now the last part that is finding the hall angle we know that theta h is nothing but as tan inverse of mu e into b therefore this becomes equals to tan inverse of 0 0.17 into 0 0.55 that is equals to 5.34 degree so this finds the value for theta h let's solve the next question this question reads as a copper strip 2 cm wide and 1 cm thick is placed in the magnetic field with B is equal to 1.5 Weber per meter square. If a current of 200 ampere that's I is set up in the strip calculate the hall voltage that is VH that appears across the strip given that the hall coefficient or RH value is 6 into 10 is to minus 7 meter cube per coulomb. Now it's very easy we know the formula for rh as vh into w divided by b into i here we have all the values we just need to plug in and find out the value so i can say vh is nothing but as rh into bi divided by w which is nothing but as 6 into 10 to the power minus 7 into 200 into 1.5 divided by 1 mm thick that is 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters on solving this becomes equals to 0 0.18 volts surprisingly this question was asked again for 2 marks in 10 so therefore this again becomes a very easy numerical and an easy concept let's move to the next one in a Hall effect experiment set up, a sample of n-type germanium has a donor density of 10 to the power minus 21 per meter cube. So this is n. Find the Hall voltage developed if the magnet field used is 0 0.6 tesla, that's B. Given the J is this, it means the current density and the thickness of the sample or the width or the W is 5 mm now we need to find out the hall voltage we need to find the hall voltage that is vh now again we'll be using one formula that says vh is equals to b into i upon rho into w that is b into i upon n into e into w and this d goes up We'll be using the formula as VH is equals to B into I divided by rho into W. Now, replacing the value of rho as any by I, it becomes B into I 
डिवाइडेड बाय एन इंटू ई इंटू डब्ल्यू ना आई कैन से दिस इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू बी इंटू आई इंटू डी डिवाइडेड बाय एन इंटू ई इंटू डब्ल्यू इंटू डी आई हैव मल्टीप्लाइड एंड डिवाइडेड बाय डी so this becomes now equals to b into i into d divided by n into e into a because i know w into d is nothing but as a now j is nothing but as i divided by a so i can replace i by a as j to make vh as b into j into d divided by एन डी इंटू ई वेल इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला यू कैन यूज दिस फॉर्मूला डायरेक्टली दर इज नो हार्ड एंड फास्ट रूल बट इफ यू डोंट रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला यू कैन ऑल्सो डिराइव एज वट आई हैव डिड इन दिस दिस वैल्यू बिकम्स नाउ इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव इंटू फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई टेन टू द पावर ट्वेंटी वन इंटू वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस 19. The value comes out to be 9.3 into 10 to the power minus 3 volts. So this is the Hall effect's voltage value. Thank you.